What is good, YouTube? It is Mr. Jailbreaks here, and today iOS 7 was just released to the public. Now, last week on September 10th, um, iOS 7 was released to the developers, um, and it was iOS 7 GM or Goldmaster. So, um, they actually had a you know a preview before we did, um, us public people. But um, yeah, so it was just released today, and I thought you know I haven't actually experienced iOS 7 myself. I've only seen seen it on videos. I actually haven't seen it in person and uh, messed with it myself. So I am happy to, you know, have it now um, and I actually wanted to do a video for you guys. Now although there are a ton of new features in iOS 7, I can't go over every single one because I am not a G. I don't know, I don't know each and every new feature. Now if you guys would like to know each and every new feature, um, there will be a link down in the description below that will lead you to a video that has every new feature in it um, and that displays it and everything. So anyways guys, let's jump right into it. Like I said, I will not be showing every single feature, I'll just be showing the main ones and the ones that I enjoy and I like that's new about iOS 7. So let's jump right into it. Now the first new um the first new thing about iOS 7 is the one of the biggest ones, and that is multitasking. So currently I do have a um settings application open, and you guys can see that instead of having that normal um, multitasking tray. You guys now have a full dis uh, full screen display of what applications you guys have running. Another cool thing about this um, or multitasking is you guys have actually have a transparent transparency. You guys have your background. You guys actually have a view of what what you are viewing in that application. So you can see the last thing I was viewing inside the settings application was the wallpaper section. You guys can see it right there and you guys can also see the app uh, settings application or the application icon itself right there. If you know where to remove it, all you have to do is just slide up. You guys can see it then removes it. All you have to do just return to your home screen is just click the um, springboard or the, your home page itself. Now another new feature that was added into iOS 7, which is a minor one, nothing too big, um, and it was also taken from a uh, city tweak or jailbreak tweak was this right here. You guys can see it, the clock application. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that red little thing right there is moving. If you guys keep your eyes on it, you guys can definitely tell it is moving. Um, and that that's that's another new feature. Um, it was taken from a city of tweak. I do not remember the exact city of tweak or what it was called. I forget. I think it was like, La uh, I don't even know, man. I just know it was a city of tweak. Um, and that was an another new feature that I kind of liked. And little extra things like that do make me like iOS 7. Now, obviously, you guys can tell from the springboard that iOS 7 has a bunch of new icons. Everything's different about iOS 7. I forget what they actually wanted iOS 7 to be called or what they wanted to be known for. But you guys can see it's a more simplistic um, icons, you know. And it's a lot of people are hating on it because it, they don't like it because it looks kind of like more anime. It looks more um, animated or cartoonish, if that's a word. I don't know. But they just don't like the new theme. Now... It kind of looks like I'm running a winterboard theme right now, but the fact that I know that this is iOS 7, of course, you know, I'm not going to know, or obviously I know it's not a winterboard theme. Now, in all the new stock applications such as App Store, iTunes, and most of the stock applications will be featuring this new white um, layout or icon skin, or la you know what I'm saying. You can see now it's all white rather than being that grayish linear thing I don't even know it was just like a gray theme um, it is now white now while we're in the settings application I'm going to show you guys another new feature and that is uh, wallpapers so um, they now have the ability you guys now have the ability to choose from a dynamic wallpaper and a still wallpaper now the dynamic wallpapers I don't even know what dynamic means but I know because obviously I know now because you know that all these wallpapers are moving but before I even knew about these wallpapers I didn't know a thing about dyna what dynamic was. So right now I'm going to click on one, you guys can see that it is moving, it's more of a video. Um, I really like it, you know, it's a cool little extra thing, kind of reminds me of Android, so, you know, they are, um, Apple is competitive with Android. Um, you guys have all these colors to choose from, um, I think they added those other colors to, uh, for the iPhone 5C. Also in the regular stills wallpaper, you know, the wallpapers are, that are just regular images, you guys can see that we do have a bunch of new ones. Um, currently, I'm rocking this one here. You guys can see you have all these. You have one, two. I don't want to count them. There's just a bunch you guys can choose from, at least 20. Um, so they did remove a lot of the uh, original wallpapers that have been in there since iOS 1. You know, all those original ones, they did remove those. Um, but, yeah, so that was the wallpapers, um, dynamic and stills. 
Yeah, as you guys just saw that animation, when I go and open up an application, you guys can see how it kind of zooms in. And then when I close out of it, kind of, well, that doesn't count. But I kind of close out of it, it kind of zooms out. So I'll show you guys that now. As you can see, it kind of closes out. I kind of like that. Um, so let me close that application. Um, another new thing I liked was Siri. And I'll open up Siri S real quick. Siri does have a new voice, um, more realistic rather than being a little um, robotic-like. And it has a new um, layout um, and display itself, uh, theme itself. So I'll show you guys that now. Hello, Siri. So you guys can see there it is. It has Hi, a new Dakota. layout. That is my name, Dakota. Um, you guys can see before, previously, it did have a transparent thing. If I click this um, qu uh, question mark there, you can see you know, if you need help, if you're new to Siri, you can ask different things like, What movies are playing? Another new feature that was introduced into iOS 7, another new thing, was Game Center. Game Center had a whole new um, icon layout, or, or no, application layout. Rather than it being from that original poker table-like um, layout, it is now into these little bubbles or balls. I don't know if Apple is getting into balls now, but you guys can now see that they do have balls. Um, you can see you have a yellow ball, a purple balls, pink balls, blue balls, <laughs> green balls. No, I'm just messing with you guys. But they do have a whole new layout, as you guys can see. If you guys would like to add me on Game Center, you guys can add me right there. I'll have 497 friends already, but I don't, I, whatever. I really don't care about Game Center all that much. Like I said, the, every stock application has this white background. Um, and you guys can now see that they just have a whole new layout. You can see you have your, uh, yourself, your friends, your games, your challenges, and your turns down there. And you also have some of the top games that are currently being played or that are involved in Game Center right now. Another new application that or layout was added that was added into Newsstand was or my bad I just said it but that was added into I, iOS 7 was Newsstand. Now Newsstand was originally open opened up like a folder. Now it opens up in a full application. So I'll show you guys that now. You can see it now opens up in a full application and instead of having that like kind of like wood grain or wood effect or icon, you guys can now see it has a transparent background. I'm kind of feeling it. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't, I've never really used Newsstand, so I'm not really too worried about it. But like I said, just little things like that make me enjoy iOS and um, give me reasons to do videos for you guys. Um, another new thing that was added into iOS 7 was folders. Now, currently it's kind of glitchy because um, the folders look kind of glitchy right now because um, I turned it from orientation into landscape or landscape into portrait or whatever. And um, it kind of looks, you know, half of it looks weird. But basically that's new into the folders is the fact that you guys can have, it's, well, opens up into a full page. And it, um, you guys can have multiple pages. Kind of like in uh, Finny folders, that was the tweak. I cannot remember exactly. I think that was it, though. Um, yes, and now so you guys can have multiple ones. And I think the most applications that you guys can put it into a folder is 127. If I'm correct, I think I am. I think I am. I don't know. I think it was 127. You guys can also see you guys do have a full, uh, tr not transparent, but you guys can see your view your wallpaper um, from your folder. So I thought that was cool. And while we're in here, you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can, well, I can. You guys can see that um, some of the applications have like, these little blue dots on there. That it means that um, originally you guys had like a badge onto your, your icons if they were a new icon, if you had just downloaded it or whatever. You guys would then get that. But now you guys get these blue, blue balls. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if Apple's getting to balls or whatever. But you guys now get these like little blue balls um, added onto the um, icon itself. Now here we are, we are currently in the music application, and you guys can see that we have a whole new layout. Now another thing that I really like about this, even though Apple's trying to do too much, you know, Apple's trying to do smartphones, computers, MP3 players, tablets, now they're trying to get in the music game. And what I mean by that, not iTunes, but they now have a new thing called, um iTunes Radio, I think that's what it's called, iTunes Radio, and basically this is just like Pandora Internet Radio, where Pandora's free, and just like this, this is free too, you know, you can type in an artist or type of genre of music that you guys enjoy, and yes, and then listen to it for free, so here I am, I am currently in the radio section, and I have Drake Radio, so I just have to click on it, and let's not play that, I don't want to get in trouble for copyright, but you can see, you guys then get to play basically Pandora on your device. Now another cool thing is that is just because that they are trying to advertise um, and try to make extra money 
more than what they have already done. Up here, as you guys can see right here, you guys can see a dollar twenty nine. Basically, if you guys would like to purchase that song, if you know if you've never heard it or whatever, you guys can then go and purchase it right there, right on the spot. And since we're already in the music application, I'll just show you guys a new layout or whatever it is. I currently currently don't have any music on my iPad just because um, I listen to Pandora. But this is you have plans to, uh, play state uh, playlist, artists, songs, albums. Oh, I guess I do have music. Genres, comp I don't even you know, composers, and etc. So you guys can see that they did redo the um, uh, music application, and then I added iTunes or iTunes Radio into it. Now my camera's about to die. It's at th uh, four percent. I told I would told myself I'll try to finish when it's at three percent. So I gotta hurry up and finish this video for you guys. But I am gonna finish it, guys, because I love you. Um, so another new thing that they added into iOS seven was the new spotlight search. So you guys can now see if I pull down. Well. If I pull down for my springboard right here anywhere, if I just pull down, I can then begin to search for my spotlight. You guys can see it says search iPad. I can then begin to search in whatever I want, and which is another cool thing that is added into iOS 7. Let's pull that, take that out. Um, another thing is, is as you guys can see, if I pull down my notification center, you guys can see here we have current events, or current events, anything I want. You guys can see it for Friday, September 13th. Most clearly, currently it's 82 degrees, and... Uh, the high today was 88. Um, you can see you, you do have your weather. You can have your see your all and your missed notifications. Um, kind of cool. I never really was a big fan of the notification center. And for the iPad users, they did make it full screen. Another new feature in iOS 7. I think the last one I will be showing you guys, except for one other one, which is my favorite, um, is the lock screen. Oh no. Um, is the lock screen. Yes, and now see anywhere, anywhere you guys can uh, just pull it, just slide to unlock. And then you guys now have your password. Yes, and see we have a whole new thing for a password. If you guys put enter it wrong, it just shakes. It doesn't say retry password. Um, let's cancel this real quick. You guys can see down here we do have our little camera grabber. If you guys want, you guys can slide up to uh, view your camera. Uh, let's just get this. There you go. Um, and my favorite feature out of all of iOS 7 is the new control center. You can see if I swipe up from my dock or the bottom of the screen, you guys can see that we do have a new thing which is just like SP settings, almost exactly like SP settings, which allows you to edit toggles anywhere from your device. So you can see I can edit my volume, I can play music if I want to, if I'm currently am playing music, I hope I did not begin to play music, yeah I did. Um, you know, begin to, oh man. <laughs> Um, but, but, but begin to play music, you guys can see you can enable and disable airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, sleep sleep thing, uh, I don't even know what it's called, portrait or in orientation mode. You guys can also go to your camera, and I don't even know what that is, but you guys get what I'm saying. You guys can also edit the brightness, turn it up, down, whatever you guys want it to be at. And that is my favorite feature that is all in iOS 7. Now, any, iOS 7 was a, kind of a different, at least the uh, layout skin or the icon skin was a lot different than iOS 6. iOS 5 to iOS 6 was a big difference, or maybe a minor, I don't even know. But the point is, iOS 7 was not a big difference than what it should have been. I think that they should have added way more stuff into it, and I would have really enjoyed it. Like I said, I did not review every single feature in iOS 6, or iOS 7, my bad, um... That I would like to. I don't even know all the features. These are just some of the f basic features that I have noticed and that I enjoy and like. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. This is Mr. Jailbreaks. You guys go and go install iOS 7 for yourself and comment down below what you guys, what your guys' favorite feature is of iOS 7 and um if you guys even like iOS 7. Out of five, I give it about a three. They could have done better, but it's not bad. Um. And yeah, so anyways guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and if you guys would like to learn how to install applications onto your iDevice without a jailbreak, uh, there will be a link down in the description below. Subscribe, uh, subscribe somewhere, and give this video a thumbs up, it uh, helps out a ton. Anyways guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.